Hey guys, I'm Scott Jones and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft Story Mode Extra video. Now today guys, we are going to talk about the Llama. That's right, we're going to be talking about the Llama, Champion City and Beacon Town. For those that don't know, at the current moment we know that the town is called Beacon Town, Jesse is the mayor of the town and there is a rival city called Champion City. Now from what we saw about from this city so far is this one screenshot of Jesse, Petra and the llama walking along. So in this screenshot you can see this llama with its uh, pink and bluish scarf and then in the background you can see this statue of the llama right in front of Champion City, which is the rival town of Beacon Town, which is Jesse is the mayor of. From watching this interview that Twitch did with Job, Stoffer, Cat Tabor, and uh, Eric Stripe, I believe that the llama, this llama right here, is the princess of Beacon Town, or some sort of importance like that. Or why am I predicting this? Let me walk you through. Folks may have seen uh, they, there's a llama that's already been attracting a lot of attention yes. in, mar in marketing materials and yes. stuff like that. And uh, Champion City is where that where that llama you know may or may not originally come from. So. So the first thing we have here is Eric saying that the llama has been driving a lot of attention, but Champion City is where the llama has come from, or may or may not have come from. But we can presume it is because we have this whole sculpture dedicated to this llama. So therefore, the llama must be very, very important to this city. Oh, it's, uh, this, that, that should be a fun thing right there. But she's no Reuben. And then Kat Haber says, she's no Reuben. So it's not a replacement for Reuben, she's not a replacement for Reuben. But we know that the llama's female, and that, that can make the little bit of a, a, a prediction that she's a princess of this uh, town more predictable. They started discussing about riding the llama. That's right. So hopping on the back of that llama and riding along uh, into the sunset. Uh, they were saying to Eric, oh, why can't we not ride the llama? And then Eric said this. Can I ride the llama? <laughs> Everyone's already asking that, Eric. Can we ride the llama? Well, you know, it's it's a weird thing because like technically it's not a full-size llama. Like, uh, uh -huh. they, you know, to, to This make... sounds like it's going to be a no, and I don't think I, I like feedback. that. But it's he said that the llama is not a full-sized llama. So can we really predict that this llama is not fully grown up yet? So we can say either it's the princess of Champion City, or maybe it's just some llama that they worship. Let me know what you guys think about this little bit of a prediction, a little bit of a guess. It's not, I wouldn't call it a theory. There's not enough fact to say it's a theory yet. We will find out when Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 1 comes out. And I'm super excited for that. Let me know what you guys think of this little bit of a discussion around the llama, who is she, and what's her importance to this champion city. I, I believe she's very, very important based on this sculpture of the llama behind uh, Jesse in this screenshot. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to hit that bell button to keep up to date with Minecraft Story Mode content so you don't miss out on any. I will be doing a live stream this week and I hope you to join in on that as well. And as always guys, have a nice day. Goodbye. I'm privileged enough to kind of usually be the first person to play this stuff. I remember at the studio that was my first question as soon as that llama Do came I get out. to ride the llama? Eric, See, this is can I ride the llama? <laughs>